How you doing? I'd like to demonstrate a little effect for you. We'll use this handkerchief and we'll place it on the table like so. We'll use these two pieces of card. Postcards can be used, doesn't matter. And we'll use four American half dollars silver coins. We'll place this coin under this card and we'll place this coin under this card and of course these two over there. Now each coin is actually going to end up under this piece of card here and join this coin. Watch carefully. The first one, we'll call this coin number two, goes underneath and number two joins number one just like magic. Now watch, number three will go under here and it travels and joins the other three coins. That's three silver American half dollars which we'll place over here and now this coin will travel just like magic and now that, oh, that coin's changed to a Chinese coin with a hole in it. <laughs> All of them have changed to Chinese coins, which is very strange. Oh, yo, yo, yo! How you doing? I hope you enjoyed that little effect there. I performed that the other week. I thought I'd do it again. I think maybe it's slightly better. Do you think it's better if you saw it last week? If not, well, I enjoyed performing it. I think it's a nice trick to do. And that's Court Fourth's Sympathetic Coins, and that's on page 382 of the Modern Coin Magic book, which I absolutely love learning and performing effects out of this book. I love the way it's written, I love the illustrations, and I do think it's a classic book, and it really, really helps with your coin magic. So if you haven't got it, get it. I'm Dan Tricks, and I'm gonna be performing effects from this book just for you to make your world, well, a bit more why have I got this pen in my hand? Now let's get into this next effect. I think you might like this. It's called the Protein Coin, and it's on page 279. I enjoy learning and performing this one, full of fantastic little moves and surprises. Love. This is quite nice. I'll show you this silver coin, the American half dollar. Only one coin is used for this effect, otherwise my hands are seen to be empty. I'll place the coin in my hand like so. Watch that coin as it changes to copper. It can change back to silver. All I do is give it a little rub and it becomes copper. I'll rub the coin again. It becomes silver. A silver coin, only a silver coin is used. I'll place that coin in my hand. I'll place this hand in my pocket so people don't think I'm cheating. There's the silver coin. All I've got to do is give it a little shake and it changes back to a copper coin. But watch that copper coin goes wave and it becomes a silver coin. And everything can be handed out for examination, <coughs> unlike me. So, protein coin, page 279. A really nice effect. It does require a bit of practice. As you can see, I performed it so well. A little bit of more practice on my part. I haven't performed it very often. It took me a few shots to get it right. So I hope you enjoyed that. Let's get into this third one. Now this is a really nice effect. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do performing it. I'm not saying I'm the cleanest performer of this effect, but hey, practice, practice. This, I require some cards. We will be using the Ace of Hearts, the card of love. And of course, the Ace of Diamonds, a lady's best friend. We'll place that over here. And then the Ace of Spades, possibly my favorite ace out of the four. And also we have the last one, the one that no one gives a damn about, the Ace of Clubs, which we'll place over there. Now, also I need is two cards over here, the King of Diamonds and the King of Hearts. And if you watch carefully, I'll just rub these cards together like so, and a coin will magically appear between them. Now this isn't just any ordinary coin, this is a magic coin. Watch the coin and I place it in the hand and I'll wiggle the fingers, it disappears and ends up underneath the card. Watch again, I take the coin, goes in the hand, wiggle the fingers, it will vanish end up underneath the card. We'll take that coin again, place it in the hand, squeeze, it disappears and ends up underneath the card. And of course finally the Ace of Hearts, wiggle the fingers and it ends up underneath the Ace of Hearts. But if I take this Ace of Hearts, snap the card, wave it above the hand, it becomes a coin. Watch that coin just vanish, end up under the card and again snap of the Ace, it 
produces a coin just like magic. Again, place it in the hand, wiggle the fingers, and then the coin will end up again under this ace, the ace of spades. Snap that card, wave the hand, and the ace produces a coin as well. Squeeze, that coin vanishes, ends up under the last card. Of course, if I take this coin, place it under this card, and then take that coin under that card, this coin goes under this card, and the last one under there. Four coins, four cards. I magically take one of the coins, doop, it disappears, and actually ends up underneath the card. We'll do it again, we'll cover the card, coins with the cards, take the next one, doop, snap into fingers, that coin disappears, and ends up underneath the cards. We'll do it again, we'll cover the coins with the cards, like so, with the last one, watch, as we take the last coin from here, place it in the hand, wiggle the fingers, that coin actually disappears from the hands, completely gone, and ends up underneath the card. And that, that's magic. What do you think of that one, folks? That is called Passing the Buck. It's under Selected Coin Tricks. That's on page three, Nan. Nan. The author considers this routine one of the finest ever developed for close-up presentation. So there you go. Did you think my performance was a classic? I don't think so. More practice on my part there, but I think it's a fantastic routine. And it can be performed in pantomime, which is rather nice, isn't it? So you don't have to talk. So what do you think of these effects? I'm trying to do less talking. Do you want me to talk more? Talk more about the books? You know how you think my channel should be? Do you think I should talk more about the books, about the authors, about the effects themselves? Or do you just want to see me perform them so you can see what they like from these books? Let me know. Put a comment down there. Don't be shy. Come on, speak up. Come on. If you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe, press the bell so you get notified of all my video, 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 video. Because you don't want to miss out on any of them because there might be something in it for you. Make sure you smash the like button, because I really, really appreciate it. You can smash the down one if you want, but no one can see it except for me, and it really upsets me. Thanks a lot, stay well, see you in the next video.